Greetings, this is Earthman from earthmansoil.com. God bless you. Hope you're doing well today, and I hope this video is helpful for you. Uh, this is a follow-up video on a different way that I've been showing on um, achieving and uh, retrieving from your soil source um, IMOs. And um, I did it two ways. I did one with the rice in a small dish and I put that inside my IMO chamber and uh, that's what's formed a lot of mycocillin in there and you can see some green and other colors that'd be bacteria and then I put ha uh, the other half the rice in a pantyhose and I put that inside the soil itself and um, as you can see uh, lots of neat colors there I was expecting more red but um, yeah see so um, that's beautiful. That's a, that's a beautiful thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix brown sugar and a little bit of molasses in with these. And that's going to be my IMO2. So once again, a repeat. You get rice and you split it in half. Put half in a, in a thing like this and the other half in a pantyhose or a cheesecloth. And then you put it inside your IMO chamber. If you don't know what that is, look at my videos. It's basically a box that has rich sources of different, um, um, you know, soil, uh, earthworm casting, the Alaskan hummus, some uh, compost, leaf mold. And uh, I, I just, I've collected it from throughout the years, different places. And so, um, and that's what you get. And now mix with brown sugar, and that'll last for about six months. And you add some of that to water. Um, maybe, you know, you're doing like four gallons, bubbling it with an air filter, you know, a little molasses, um, and, that, and then use that to inoculate your plants and to, you know, use it as a regular feeding uh, every time, giving your plants life because they will thrive. So that's how um, you do it. Uh, that's the second part of IMO1 and now going to make IMO2 with the brown sugar and a little molasses. So that's it. God bless you.